Hi, I'm Vanessa Timmer. While it looks like I've joined a scout troop, I haven't. I'm here at Bray Island Regional Park. While the weather is a little bit cloudy and the mosquitoes are definitely not cooperating, we've still got a great sense of adventure, right everyone? <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure I'm doing on the hot dogs though. This campground is operated in the 68 hectare GVRD Park, which is on the Fraser River. It's just across from Fort Langley and it recently got renovated. There are 11 Metro Vancouver parks along the Fraser River. In the west are Matsqui Trail, Glen Valley, Bray Island, Darby Reach, and Kanaka Creek Parks. Centrally located are Surrey Bend, Colony Farm, and Sapperton Landing. There are two islands that Metro Vancouver holds as park reserves along the Fraser River. Then, along the river's south arm is Dees Island Park, while the north arm hosts Iona Beach and Pacific Spirit Park. Following the park opening festivities, I stepped aside for a boat tour of Bray Island. I'm here on a boat tour of the Bedford Channel and behind me is Bray Island Regional Park. And I'm here with Wendy Dadalt. Hi Wendy. Nice, nice to, to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Thank you, Vanessa. How do you manage both allowing people to enjoy the parks and also manage these ecologically sensitive areas? Well, that is a challenge. Uh, for example, this park has a trail system that's set back well from the shoreline. If people can see the water, they often want to get to the water. So we hide that away from them until we get to designated openings. Then we headed to the north side of the island. That's the unnamed channel that goes right through to the bridge that you take over to the Albion Ferry. And is there any reason why it, it doesn't have a name? No, I think that people have uh, embraced the unnamed channel as a really good uh, title for it. It's almost like a no-name brand. That's right. <laughs> We're just below the bluffs at Darby Reach, where the uh, original Fort Langley uh, was located. We've created a wall that acts like a bit of a breakwater to reduce the wave action, but it's got openings so the fish can swim through those. So it becomes fish habitat behind those. Exactly. Openings. This is this is really great habitat. And I see someone there on the shore, and it looks like they're fishing. Is fishing one of the activities that happens along this part of the river? Most of our parks on the Fraser have a a lot of fishing happening. I checked out some of the displays and events. Oh, oh no! <laughs> then I met up with one of the Langley naturalists. That is a cedar waxwing. Isn't he a beautiful bird? Can you see the crest? Oh wow, I love his black mask. Oh, that's... I didn't realize there's so many different kinds of birds here in Bray Island. Oh, there's quite a variety of birds here. They're mostly songbirds. Right, and I understand there's something like 1.4 million birds that migrate and come through the greater Vancouver area. Of course, not all on Bray Island. Mm -hmm. It would no. be very busy. It would be very busy. <laughs> but not, they do come through here. It's not that big, a big, big an area. But songbirds would be migrating through here because so all the trees, it's a great place for them to be, and the insects to feed on. And I'm also thinking about waterfowl because 70% of the estuary wetlands in the greater Vancouver area have disappeared due to residential and industrial development. Um, how has it affected the waterfowl here in the area? Well, we, I think there's been a reduction in the waterfowl here, mm. but we do have mallards and then the are sort of the fish-eating ducks. This is the river sand and it deposits on the islands in the, in the Fraser River here, particularly in the Lower Mainland, and the Bray, Bray Island has been getting bigger and bigger as a result of these deposits. In the meantime, the bridge here has contributed to more sand being deposited, and also Macmillan Island is losing its shoreline. Macmillan Island's just um, east of here. Well, thank and you very much, Annabelle. That was you, great. Thank you for letting me know about Bray Island. You're very welcome. Enjoyable. Well, I'm on the hayride now, and so if you enjoyed today and you want to know more about the GVRD Regional Parks, go to metrovancouver.org forward slash parks 
or call 604-530-4983.